I would say that Sally would be a part of this um, book had um, we extended the time frame in which we were looking at people. Because Sally Ormsby has uh, exhibited one of the fabulous traits, and I think, of being, I call it the premier advocate, that she has been a community giver for so many years. And as stated, she came here from New York, from Western New York, and uh, she transplanted herself here after her education, after being recruited by the CIA. And um, mm -hmm. Sally finished business school, so her work there in the CIA continued until she was uh, married to Clay Ormsby. And uh, mm -hmm. she and Clay had two children, uh, Tyler and Vic Maria. And um, Sally's time in Fairfax County, <coughs> I think is really exhibited by the email she sent literally the night before she died. Because she was studious about everything that she did. And it's exhibited by all of the work and the involvement that she left footprints in the community. And it's this kind of, I think, uh, value that we have in Fairfax with so many people from the very early times to the present of the footprints that they've left in making the community better. And I thought it interesting that I would, was going to be here with Sally to talk about Martha Panino, and now I'm here talking about Sally and Martha Panino, and you see parallels. You see very distinct parallels. Um, once Sally came here, she got involved, and her involvement was about community building. I think what's unique about Sally is that she always found herself engaged in an organization and no matter what the uh, challenges were or the issues that they were addressing, Sally could give her input, Sally could walk away with whatever the solution was and to work toward seeing that the solution contributed for the betterment of the community. Uh, she um, started out in, 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 in looking at her history, I think about the oil spill that happened there in Mantua. She moved to Mantua with her family. Mantua, I call it as a community of activists. There, are, You can name lots of people who are engaged in our community today that are Mantua residents. But they all got involved in this uh, oil spill to correct the problem and extract from Texaco, actually, the uh, company that was part of that um, uh, oil spill to find the appropriate solution to her community. Another one that I think is that she was engaged in that was very interesting was some of us that were here in the 70s remembered that um, that Pickett Road area became the Tornado Alley. And there was a horrible tornado that um, Whitson School was uh, uh, closed for a while, the community came together with the school community to provide a temporary location, and that was her contribution in working with that. But Sally has been recognized, and Sally is known by so many different organizations. League of Women Voters. She, I call um, uh, Sally as uh, classic League of Women voter person. She's studious, she researches her issue, she gets the community involved, and they move from there to work out an appropriate solution or recommendations for solutions. That was her method, no matter where you found her. If I speak forward to those uh, last years of the recognitions that she received, it sort of reflects the kind of contributions that she made. Sally was recognized as Citizen of the Year and received the Washington Post Cup. And I remember the night Sally being there, and Sally was generally a very organized person, and she would <coughs> step forward, say what she has to say, and move forward. She was so overwhelmed that I can remember her sitting there, and we were all watching and listening to her, and she kept talking and talking and talking. And said, That's not like Sally. And she said afterwards, she said, I was just so overwhelmed that I would be recognized for the work that I've done in my community, like everybody else, as she described it, 
by the Washington Post and Citizen of the Year by the Federation and Washington Post uh, Award. So her, her, but that award came from, for a very special reason. She was currently serving on the Northern Virginia Soil and uh, Water Conservation um, as an elected member, and she arrived at that position because of her uh, commitment to the environment. She was very much involved, and she said she moved to Mantua because of the trees that were there. And she was concerned about our environment, about the stewardship that the county had to its environment. And I would say, as we have changed our ordinances in the county, you will see uh, Sally's involvement in that. I remembered that we had an issue before the board, uh, the board meeting before Sally died, and she was going to come and testify on it. And she was unable to testify, so she sent her email and she said, I want you to read it verbatim, because she wanted to have it in the record that she had a contribution she wanted to make and that it, it, was, it was added to the record. I said to my staff, well, let me just submit it as a written piece. And she said, no, she wanted it read in the record. And we stopped and we read it into the record. On the Northern Virginia Water Conservation, Sally found that she needed to start pare down and paring down some of her responsibilities because as a member of the, on the conservation board, she became very involved with the statewide or, uh, operations of the Northern Virginia Conservation. And so she found herself not only going to Richmond, but going to other places around the state, working with other organizations. She served uh, on the Urban Committee an appropriate uh, role for her to play to bring the voice of the uh, uh, urban area as we're becoming to the uh, larger state board of conservation on the needs of them addressing those issues that, uh, uh, that uh, address the uh, urban counties. And um, Sally has also been recognized at, uh, and it's uh, good to have that, that as her role on the Northern Virginia Regional Commission on its Environmental um, Committee, uh, she has thus been recognized by the Park Authority with an award in her name for envir environmental stewardship. I guess I would sum up uh, Sally's role, as I said before. There are a lot of great folks in this county that give of their time contributing to uh, the well-being of the county. For many of them, they take it not for any personal acclaim, but they take it as a way of building their community. And I think Sally has been an exceptional uh, example of that kind of stewardship. And I'm delighted that we can have her voice in this discussion on the Fairfax stories, because I think her role that she would play today would simply be to exhibit the values of others. And I think in doing that, really, her, uh, I think it's important that we recognize the many contributions that she's made over the years.